Hello everyone, I am the Oven Man and today we will be looking at the top 5 strategies on normal RTS game. The reason why Razer wanted to make this was because he wanted to quote unquote show off the current meta for strategies. However, let us move on to the top 5 strategies on normal RTS game before this goes off track. In number 5 we have farm rushing. Now, you may be wondering, why is this strategy mandatory if you want to be a pro at the game? First off, this strategy is useful in getting money in order to make troops, vehicles, and aircraft. Second, the faster you rush your workers to a supply node like this one, then you will need to build a farm over it. This makes more money in the long term if you take enough supply nodes and build farms on them. You can also upgrade the farms that you built in order to make even more money to again, get more troops etc. Now we move on to number 4. The number 4 strategy on this list is helicopter spam. A lot of you may have used this strategy, but it involves one simple thing. Helicopters. Usually, if you are using this strategy you are more likely to sweep the enemy, especially if they have no defenses like turrets and towers, near Thier command center. However, if there are any such defenses, they will fall quickly unless you train an entire army of anti-air to shoot down the helicopters fast enough to make sure they do not destroy the command center. That is all to the helicopter spam strategy I guess. Now we move on to number 3. The third strategy we will discuss is air raid. Now I know what you are thinking, oven man, is this the heli spam again? Well, you are half right, but this strategy involves you using both transport copters along with heavy soldiers and dropping them off at the enemy command center to destroy the command center. Now, how do you do this strategy you ask? Well basically, you will need up to 3 transport copters along with 9 soldiers per helicopter in order to maximize damage. You may also build houses to increase the amount of transport helis and troops you may use in this strategy. Now, how do you pull of this strategy in-game? First, press F on a transport heli that has heavy soldiers under it, this will pick them up and put them into a clown car-like situation in the game. From there, move the transport helis to a nearby base, and then select and press the F key as quickly as you can before the transport helis get damaged by the enemy defenses. Be careful though, if your transport helicopter gets shot down before you release the soldiers, you will lose the soldiers you trained up and you have to get new ones, which take a lot of money to make per soldier. Now we move on to number 2 which is the tank spam. This is by far one of the most op strategies in the game, and it is because the light tanks are literally bulky and can take a lot of damage. This is especially useful when attempting assaults on a command center that is heavily defended. For this strategy to work, you need a lot of money and I recommend putting the tanks close to the command center to defend from any attacks. Getting anti-air is recommended though, as tanks cannot fight back against helicopters but anti-air will be able to protect your tanks from helicopters. Now, I don't really have much to say more about this strategy but the number one strategy is Nuclear Warfare now, you may be wondering, oven man, no one uses nukes, why talk about it? This is because nukes are very op, especially if a game goes on for too long. How do you do this strategy you ask? It is very simple. Step 1. Get a lot of money and save up for a nuke silo. Step 2. Build the nuke and get even more money before doing it. Step 3. Pick the most heavily defended base in the game, that is if the enemy controls it, then, proceed to nuke the enemy command center. This strategy is very useful, especially if the last player on the enemy team is holding out a bit too long or has a very beefed up defense. Now that we are finished with the strategy guide, I hope you like this guide and helps you win the match you are playing against. However, before we end this video, please give this video a comment, like and a subscribe for more videos. We also have a Discord server, an Odise page, and a TikTok page. Anyways folks, I will see you around so good day, good night and I will see you then.